الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلاة وسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته أهلا وسهلا ومرحبا بكم شكرا لمشاهدة هذا البرنامج It's your brother Uthman MashaAllah سبحانه وتعالى I'm just here to give you a brief encounter of my journey to Islam which was guided by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yani, when I look back at my childhood and my teenage years, you know, I grew up rough. I was born in Oakland, California. I was raised in Sacramento, California. My parents died when I was young, so I was always on my own, and the street life is the only thing that we knew. And to survive on our own, we had to do, um, the things that people do when they have to survive on their own. So the fact of the matter is, I'm not no different from the average African American who grew up in poverty and um, had to do illegal things to survive in these streets, man. And the African Americans, they, they, they know where I'm coming from. You know what I'm saying? So while I was in the streets doing my thing, man, um, I, I I consider myself a Christian, but I wasn't really no Christian, but I was upon what I was raised upon, you know, so I believe that Jesus was the son of God and so on and so on. But what changed, what changed for me, man, it was 2006 and I met this sister from, um, the sister was from Fiji and I wasn't Muslim at the time to be all the way honest with you, man, I was trying to take her down, you know, on, on the whole nother something else. The sister was Muslim, man, and no matter what I did, I could I can only go so far with her. So I was just wondering, like, what does she believe? What is she upon to where? Hold up, man. Ain't nothing I do working with this sister. So one day my little brother jumped in the car and he had a Quran in his hand. He had a pamphlet, something about Muhammad. He was about to throw it out the window. He jumped in like, they just hand me this. I don't want to throw it away in front of him, man. What should I do with this? I'm like, give me that. I'm like, hold up. I, I call myself doing some research on what this sister was upon. Why was she, hold on, man. I, I know it's something to tap this code, man. So <laughs> so I, I grabbed the kitab of Allah for the first time and I read it and Wallahu Ladim, I stayed in the house for five days, man. I thought I was Muslim without the Shahada. I started thinking, I, st I started thinking, who do I know, man, that's Muslim? So I called Abdul Rahman and I called him. I was like, I am Muslim now. He's like, mashallah, I'm about to come get you right now. So he came and picked me up and he brought me to Masjid Ibrahim for the first time in my life. That was 11 years ago, man. And um, and and, and when, when he got here, we, when we went to Masjid, he showed me around, showed me how to make wudu and all that. And we came outside after the Salat. He was like, I know that Shahada felt good, huh? I was like, what Shahada? What's that? <laughs> He's like, you ain't took no Shahada? I'm like, I mean, I have no idea what a Shahada is, man. He said, man, we're about to take your Shahada right now. We walked into the Imam and I took my Shahada. From that point on, MashaAllah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I've been Muslim and I was lucky. Like the first year that I converted, I was able to hook up with Sheikh Dr. Amin Best, man. He took me in like his son. He taught me Arabic. He taught me um, fiqh from the school of Imam Shafi. And he taught me tajweed. So as a new convert, I was already indulged head on into the Arabic language. And it was a ni'mah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that I'm grateful for. So now, I'm teaching Arabic, uh, mashallah, I'm doing lectures and giving da'wah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So in short, I took a journey from the streets, man, as an orphan with no parents doing everything I had to do to survive to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guiding me by his ni'mah to Islam to me standing here being the Arabic teacher of the masjid and the khatib and I could just be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Alhamdulillah So, in short there's no guidance better than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Alhamdulillah alladhi anama ni'mah Islam alayna Islam the ni'mah of Islam upon us mashallah subhanahu wa ta'ala Now Man, that's how we do it, man. It's from hoodlum to Muslim, man. We went from the streets to Islam, you know what I mean? And now we already know. Now we just trying to man spread it, inshallah to Allah. So y'all tell me. Yeah, bro.
Obviously. Matthew. 